My name is Michael J. Sachs. I worked as a detective in the New York City Police Department. I was in the narcotics division for Bronx Narcotics at the time of the World Trade Center. I had been working in Bronx Narcotics and was working in an undercover assignment uh, most times. The morning of September 11th, I was actually getting ready to go to work in a uniform capacity for the elections in New York, which were um, on, on Tuesday, September 11th. I remember um, I was taking a shower and the, the TV had the first plane hitting. And as I continued to get ready, um, I, I heard the impact of the second um, plane broadcast over the television. And I immediately realized that this was real. Um, we were in a lot of trouble and that we were uh, most likely under some kind of attack. How am I gonna get to, to, to work? And is there any, are there any tools that I could use that would be available to me to get to work? And the Fraternal Order Police, we had a, some marked cars that were available to us. So I had a car that I could get with lights and sirens in it that was marked that said Fraternal Order Police. So uh, as I'm going lights and sirens, I, I look in my rearview mirror and there's a bunch of at least 20 to 30 civilian cars behind me, following me like really close. And it was all off-duty law enforcement and firefighters that were trying to get into the city that were using my car and my sirens to get through traffic. Um, we're all on the Long Island Expressway. The first tower is already down. And as I'm driving, I can see the second tower and I actually see the tower come down. I thought that we had an incredible loss of life at that moment. I couldn't even imagine. I, I was thinking we lost 20, 30,000 people. We continued driving in and another thing that I had never seen before was by the, um, the Midtown Tunnel, which is a tunnel we go through from the Long Island Expressway to get into Manhattan. The, uh, the toll gates are open and the toll clerks are waving us through. Then nobody's stopping, we're just flying right through the toll, the toll booths. So I met a group of other cops I didn't even know um, on the street near the towers. We were all standing together in this group and we're like, what are we going to do? Um, we, we actually broke into a hardware store to try and get anything we could get. We start doing just quote unquote search and rescue. So during the search and rescue recovery, we came up with some metal from the World Trade Center. These are actually bolts that were in the girders of the towers from 9-11 and you can see one is completely sheared and you can see the damage and um, what they went through when those towers came down. People had written messages in the ash on buildings and on cars about save us and God help us and we, we had the debris in our lungs, we had um, our eyes were all messed up, um, we were dehydrated, so they had these um, respite centers set up and you would get an IV, you'd uh, get a drink, um, they'd wash your eyes out, they'd give you some oxygen, and then you go right back in and do your search and rescue again. At this point, I'm pretty much shot. I'm really in shock over everything and I'm exhausted. John Walsh from America's Most Wanted is, um, I kind of stumble into him and a film crew. He ends up doing a, an interview with me and asking me, um, you know, did I think there were survivors and things like that. I've watched the interview obviously since then. As you can tell, I'm not there anymore. Um, there's a real blank look in my eyes and I'm just kind of going through the motions. I ended up spending about 30 days doing search and rescue recovery. There were some things that really meant a lot to us um, as responders. Uh, Lee Greenwood came to sing for us, um, just jumped on a chair and started belting out proud to be an American, had no idea who he was, just a little guy, started singing. And then um, the Fraternal Order Police in New York had bought 600 of these helmets. And we gave these helmets out to the responders. Um, this was the helmet that I was wearing, and um, John Travolta came to the site and he just wanted to cheer us up. And this is actually his autograph from when he came out to visit the 9-11 um, the site um, at the World Trade Center.
There's, there's a thing with firefighters where they have the, uh, the firefighter flag that was up, the American flag, and there's another flag that a lot of people know about where it's a bunch of emergency service cops and firefighters putting another flag up. I was there when both those flags went up. I was, I was very close to it and saw them go up. I remember um, crying and looking at the flags and thinking hope and the country and it's just people behind us and um, unity and just everything that those flags stand for, freedom. I kind of took some of those things for granted. There's people that hate us because we're free and you have a right to choose your religion. You have a right to, to speak as you want to speak and speak out against the government and do all those things. There's other countries that you get shot if you do that. And I think people really get spoiled and forget those things. And I want to make sure that I give my testimony so that people don't forget. And I feel like they are forgetting. And, and it, it really, it saddens me and it bothers me. And I'm, I'm very happy that you're doing a film like this and that other people are doing things similar to, to help people remember. I want to thank you. Um, and I actually start getting upset about it. I want to thank you for remembering and uh, not forgetting. It was a really hard time um, for a lot of people and for the country. And um, the fact that you're remembering means more to the people that were there than you can ever imagine. Um, this is something that's burned into my very being. and. Um, I think everybody owns a piece of 9-11. So if you could just pass on whatever knowledge you have to your kids and, and help them to understand what it is to be an American, that, that's what I'd like to see keep happening. And I just appreciate all of you. My name is Michael J. Sachs, I'm a retired detective from the NYPD. I'm a chaplain for Claremont Police Department, Mount Dora Police Department, the Mount Dora Fire Department, and the Fraternal Order of Police, Lodge 176. And um, this is my story on 9-11.